Yeah. You got it. Let him have it. Eat it. Let him have it. Just for a second. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't hit him too hard so we don't pop that line up in that knot. You got a circle hook. So let him run with it. <laughs> you are a little bit. All right. Okay, I think we got some rock bending drag screaming going on now, Billy. Look at him. He just busted the water out there. Oh, it's one of them big ones, too. Oh, man. <laughs> There's you some teeth. Is that a mugging? This is Addictive Fishing. Ah, Black rum, baby. <laughs> For the next 30 minutes, you'll see why fishing is so addictive. We'll show you the most awesome rod bending drag screaming action. So hang on to your seats. For this week's journey on Addictive Fishing. Feels like one of them uh, catfish. That'd be something good size to eat this plug. Here's down there. A bluefish! Blue Look at the size of that bluefish. You ever had one of these bite you? No, I hadn't. <laughs> I've seen their teeth though, I don't oh, think I want to. They have got some teeth. Oh, I know where I put them. In that hole right there. Yeah, these things can definitely do some damage to you. Uh, bite your line up. Yeah. They have got some chompers. There's explorers on them here. Got it. That's pretty good size blue, huh? Back hook. Come on, dude, open up. Now he don't want to open his mouth. Come on, dude. Yeah. That's not a bad bluefish. Almost bite me, he tried to. Little bluefish. See you, buddy. Well, we're up in Homosassa again. We got Captain Billy Henderson with us. It's a little bit cloudy this morning, waiting for the sun to come out. And uh, we're going to catch some tarpon today, hopefully. If not, we're going to hopefully hook into a bull, big bull shark. Yeah, we can catch some mullet. Yay, yeah, big. We're going we're gonna to do it up right up in Homosassa. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addictive Fishing. trout today. It's bluefish. Sail cat. It's all fishing. What's the biggest trout you get from out here? Uh, well, right up in the Chazawisk River by John's Island. I caught my biggest there right at 10 pounds. Big and we get 30. that size out here? You, you never know. You could. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're scattered. 25s are getting to be real common around here. I like that color. Yeah, and the new penny root beer copper color has always been good out here. I haven't found any place that doesn't like that color. I guess it looks like a shrimp. Right. There it is. Oh, that's a, that one's a trout. That is a trout. Nice one, too. Look at that. Nice trout. Swallowed that jig, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I believe he's about done. He swallowed that jig up. He might have to. Well, that's a nice little trout, and he unfortunately got way down in there. It's through his crusher. You ever? Uh... Probably won't live. Yeah. Heard if you leave it in there, they'll live. So. Try it. Nice little trout. He'll be alright though. Heard if you leave him in there, they'll live. Well, you go for another one of those. Looks like the sun's fixed to come out. Yeah, trying to drive through the clouds. Just killing time till we do. We got the big mullet out back. <laughs> what do you think is going to eat that? A big old 300, 400 pound bull shark? That'd be cool. That'll be fun to tangle with until the sun pops out today. We're up here just looking for sharks and who knows what you're going to get. Uh oh. Two codes. He's got that gags all on his back. I'm gonna get down. Look at that. Two cobia. 
have to twins. Let, I have to let these guys go so they can grow up and be mugging. The third one underneath them, same yeah. size. Let's See, him, look at him coming up top, right there, right, right yeah. behind him. Little guy. Those things are cool. How big the cubby around here get when they come in? Oh, is this a normal size? No, no. We had we just had our cubby tournament just a couple weeks ago, and the first place I think was 46 pounds. Um, we get some big ones. Two little guys. What are you thinking? We get these guys up. Let yeah. them go. Uh, let them grow up and be big one day. One thing about them, they never do stop, do they? No, they don't. You gotta watch them from start to finish. Yeah, it's very explorers. Flop this guy in there. Get right out of here. See you later, buddy. See you, bud. He's gone. He's ready to go. All right. I think if a big shark gets after him, we'll know it because he's going to put him in the air. Ooh, look at that big old boil. Is it? What is it? Huge boil. I don't know what it was. See something splash over there, cast gags over there, and wham! Oh, what is Come on. Oh, that's a cobia. Is it a cobia? Look like a cobia. Sure look like a cobia tail. That'd be a nice little bonus here. Oh, it's a shark. Is it, bull? Oh, he got my gags. Nice bull shark, too. He got my gags. He kind of ate that plug, didn't he? Oh, well. You believe that? We'll get a tarpon jump in here in a little bit. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. You gotta love them puffers. I'm gonna get that big old monster to come up and swipe him off the top. Be cool if it was a big tiger. Or your shark anyways. Just let your 12 inch mullet hit the water as lightly as possible. Can skip that one. Yeah, imagine skipping that one under a dot. <laughs> yeah. What you got there, the ultimate trout bait? That's it. I'm actually going to show you a great big bull shark in one of these big moments. Tarpon haven't come up rolling yet, so we're going to have a little fun. Set up. Watch you throw this. <laughs> <laughs> Something just tagged it. Yeah. You got it. Let him have it, eat it. Let him have it? Just for a second, go ahead, yeah. Don't hit him too hard so we don't pop that line up at that knot. You got circle hooks. So let him run with it. <laughs> okay, I think we got some rod bending and drag screaming going on now, Billy. Look at him, he just busts the water out there. Oh, it's one of those big ones too. Oh, man. <laughs> Tell me when you need me on the motor and I'll get on the motor. Look at me leaving town. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him oh, out there. Man, God. 125 <laughs> yards. <laughs> and as you can see, pan over back this way over about 11 o'clock. We got some serious storms brewing up. So we're going to see how long we can stay on this guy. See if we can get him to the boat. Billy, Billy sends the thing. It's going to take me all day to do this. So. Easy on that power brew now, isn't it? Who's this one? I think this this one was that big one that was behind that porpoise. Yeah. Had what? Three big hookups that we lost? Yeah, so far. Right side to side and clear that grass. Just out here blind casting. Had this big mullet out behind the boat. Actually, we ran out of all of our mullet. Had to catch a couple of ladyfish. This reel is just getting about as hot as it can be. <laughs> Play this guy out well, if, you can, if you can't yank on a big old tarpon, ain't nothing like getting your rod stretched with a big old bull shark. And this one's a grown one. It'd be nice to have a gaff here with it. Yep. The floating gaffs aren't ready yet by explorers, but they will be here in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait to get those things. I've lost so many gaffs by hook hitting a fish. Yeah. And they'll take it right in the water with him. Oh yeah. These explorers, though, new, uh, the new gaffs that are coming out, they float. Oh, they are? So it shakes it off and come back up, huh? Exactly. Loosen up on it in case he wants to put a big run on it. Uh, he's done running. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do with this thing? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want to do with it? Woohoo! Lord! Easy, man. Let that thing go. I'm on that. It's killing me. He's 
a grown one. You gonna tail wrap him? I'm gonna, what, yep, you gonna lip him? <laughs> if you lip him, we won't tail wrap him. Uh, we can tail wrap him if you want. You get to hold him though. It's hard to judge 12 minutes. Bigger. 12 minutes into it. 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Oh well. He Kate broke it feared off. him to death. I want to take a minute and just show you all what we're using today. Really a simple rig. It's 30 pound Power Pro rigged to a 60 pound swivel tied up to some 80 pound wire leader, some 7 aught Eagle Claw circle hooks doing the damage and you've seen them right there in the corner on these sharks every time. Using the Fenor Ahab number 20 reel. Cape Fear Blue Water Series rod, the 20, 30 pound. Simple, simple shark fishing rig. Earlier we were using the, the smaller rigs, catching the smaller fish, but I had to get my line stretched. If you got one of these, bring it. Billy will get it stretched for you. There's your bait check for today. Hope you liked it. Oh, gosh. Man, he about took it out of my hand. <laughs> wow, how something really whacked it. Big old lady fish. <laughs> and get that big old monster to come up and swipe him off the top. It'd be cool if it was a big tiger. Part of your shark, anyways. Sharks all around the boat. One right there. Come on, swim over to my bait and eat it. Since I can't have a tar bait. Three great tigers right there. Right over my bait, big guy. Should I move it for him? Hi. Welcome back. As you can see, we're overcast in totally, and it's just, it's messing us up. It glassed off, but it's nice. Haven't seen any tarpon rolling, so we're just shark fishing. We got a big old mullet down here. We got a shark coming in. He's, he's circling around out here. Here he comes. He's got it. He's got it. And there he goes. <laughs> Bull shark fishing. That head shaking. He's coming right to us. Very oh, turn. What do you say, Billy? Those things can go 80 miles an hour, stuff on a dime, and turn back and eat their own tail. And bite the tail off. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. <laughs> now that is music. Sitting around here all day long, waiting on tarpon. Show today. You go after so you gotta get something. He's just now getting lit up. Look at the size of that one, Billy. You got a Kobe on the back too. <laughs> Need to get some line back? Yeah, I'm getting some. Well, he's pulling us now. That scares me when that line pops like that. It makes my heart stop. Thinks he popped off. <laughs> him rolling that line across his nose. So I'm thinking about coming down. If this all of a sudden gets wrapped up around us, yanks me in. There's about five or six more of these bull sharks that are 10 feet long. 10 feet long, not deep. <laughs> Ooh, look, a scallop. <laughs> get down there and get him. Somebody get it. <laughs> you know, you almost like when you're fighting these fish, you just see them out there swimming. Ouch. You see them out there swimming. You got your bait over there and you're like, oh, he's swimming to it, he's swimming to it, he's swimming to it. Uh-oh, he ate it. What next? Because you know what you're in for. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much I can lean on this fish. Yeah, just, let's lean on the next one. Let's get this one to the boat. Billy wants to put this one on the deck. <laughs> we'll get him. We don't break him off. Billy, this fish is bigger than you are. That's all right. Uh-huh. Dun-dun. Look at that. Dun-dun. 
Just one hook in him. Be on that. Uh oh. Come okay. on, come on now, come on now, stay away from that line. He could um take an ass cheek. Take guy. an ass cheek for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mouth's just about right. It's worked up a sweat on me. Now, Billy, there was there was one thing I said on the show a couple weeks ago and got an email on that. I should have clarified, my, clarified myself a little bit better. It's like, you know, when you're fighting big fish, a lot of times you get somebody running all around the boat. Right. And a lot of times you can stay right in the same place and fight the boat. It all really depends on the fish. Like, you know, if I was on this side of the boat and he was way over there, of course I'm gonna come over there. But a lot of times, you fight a fish completely upside down, it really doesn't matter what angle you have, as long as that rod stays bent, you know, like that. And a lot of people, We'll put side pressure on a big fish like this. And I do believe that really wears them down, but I think more than anything, it's changing the angle on them right. as they're running. You know, you, you're, if you're pulling him through the water, if he's running to the left and you're pulling to the left, you're doing nothing but helping him out a Guide little bit. Guiding right. So just a lot of change in direction on the fish. Ain't rolling him yet. But see, now with the size of this fish, yeah, I do have to walk around the boat a little bit. I can't control him yet. Big old head. Yeah, big head shake. Body. Look at them teeth. <laughs> you got a bug grip we can weigh on? <laughs> they make a 200 pound bug grip? <laughs> no. <laughs> Explorer's grip and weigh isn't ready yet. It's yeah. almost done. You heard about the thing yet? No, I haven't. FLW Tour is going to go nuts over it. It's a, it's a grip and weigh and keeps actual calculation of your fish. Yeah, but will it weigh 200 pounds? Oh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't either. It's pretty fun on it. Easy on that knot. <laughs> Under the boat, see if I can get him up this way. Uh, come on, baby. Uh oh, That's we got well. leader. We got leader. Okay, you gonna put? You gonna say you gonna tail wrap him? Yeah, man. Let's get him. <laughs> Give these people some action, don't we? Of course. Yeah, don't try this one at home, boys and girls. <laughs> hey Billy, he's tired of I was gonna say he was almost tired enough you could just reach down and get him in a headlock. <laughs> I'll, I'll um I'll do that next time you get him to the boat. Alright, here he comes. There's one thing good about this, Billy. This fish will think twice about eating a tarpon here over the next few days. Yeah, he'll probably lose his appetite for a poon. He's gonna have and again, maybe now. not, he's thinking. Ferocious eaters. Come here, Junior. You can't move him. Push on that leader. He's in a stall. <laughs> He's in a stall. He's going down. Like the Titanic. Come on, kick, Bubba. The pick fin. I got him. I got him. <laughs> I ain't got no leverage on my knees. All right, ready? Yeah. Let go with your right hand. There. All right, got him? Yeah. I'm going to pop the leader right now. Ready? I'm barefooted. Get that door somewhere. What a beast. Now that brother is a Morgan. <laughs> I don't want to keep him out too long. Get a couple pictures. I don't even want to get close to them hooks. There's just some teeth. Is that a mugging? Or is that a mugging? All right, I'm gonna roll her over. Oh, what do you know? The hook's on the other side. Okay, give me a... Right behind you, right there. Some wire snips here. Oh. Get down here. Just gonna clip it close. 
Okay. All right. All right. And that is one sure big fish. That is some meat there. Slide her on back. Ready? Go. There's some motion going. Gone. There she goes. Yeah, man. Woo! Good fish. That brother with some Rod Ben and drag streaming television, no doubt. Put it on it, didn't he? Y'all ever want to give this a shot? Give Billy a call. You can get through to him on our website at dickofishing.com. Wild action. That was a baby. That was good. We'll Compared see you next week. Look here, look here, look here, look here. Got his back out of the water. Was that a off. cobia? No, that was that shark. Just swimming off with his back out of the water. Might catch him again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. See ya! Now that is addictive. She's really fighting a shark. <laughs> Try to bite the boat.